Okay, so the next um, inheritance pattern that we want to talk about is X-linked inheritance. And before we talk about X-linked inheritance, I want to review some um, points about the sex chromosomes. So to remind you, in humans, we have two sex chromosomes, the X and the Y. And these two chromosomes don't look alike, do they? They're very different. They're called heteromorphic, for hetero, for different. So in, in, in humans, what determines the sex is the Y chromosome. The presence of the Y chromosome means male. The absence of the Y chromosome, the default, is female. OK, simple as that. Presence of the Y chromosome is male. Now, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome, as I said, are quite different. There are about 1,000 genes on the X chromosome and only about 50 genes on the Y chromosome. Now, there are two problems that nature had to solve in because we have these two different sex chromosomes. The first is that if you remember, I talked a little bit about last week, when we create our eggs and our sperm, our gametes, the chromosomes, we have all our chromosomes line up and pair off and then they divide and they segregate to the daughter cells. And it's very important for them to be able to pair. And somebody mentioned last time that this is when the crossing over occurs, right, during this, this stage when the, the homologous chromosomes pair up. So this is a very important um, point to happen in order for us to make our eggs and our sperm, for to make our gametes. So how do we manage that when the X and the Y don't have anything to pair with in a, in a male? The other problem is that females have two X chromosomes and males have only one. So what about these thousand genes? How come you know, we can be so similar when the women have two copies and males have just one copy? 